Or is this some syncopated beat? I was trying to do something <laughs> more stylistic. Politely than waiting just for you to finish. Shaking, yeah. No, I couldn't figure out how to do a syncopated beat, though. Because you can't hear the intro. No, it's not because of that, actually. It's oh. just because I, I can't do it absent <laughs> from an intro, in a, vol in a vacuum. I can't do it, so. For a Hello. second, I thought I had to tell you that you were live. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> <laughs> just frozen. Yeah. I was just providing some good ASMR right into the microphone. Is that ASMR? Actually, it could be. It could be, right? Yeah, actually, it could be. <laughs> Hello, friends, and welcome to this week's live stream. Hello. Live stream. Live stream. I hope that you guys had a good weekend. OK, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. All those things. All of those things. I feel like that's a, a challenging initial intro for like a well, live stream. I usually don't do it. Uh, you don't do <laughs> it? I usually trail. I, usually, I mean, I don't usually do the complete thing. OK. Do you think it's kind of become sort of like part of our, our live stream? We say, oh, it's like Wednesday somewhere in some other hemisphere or something like that. Well, I was trying to abbreviate it, but now you're elongating it. OK, my bad. OK, <laughs> um, let's dive into this. Today, yes. we are bringing back a Franken series. Yes. Not a Frank off, just no. to clarify, but a Franken cook cooking exploration. Yes. Today, we're going to be making a Franken peep. Yes. Now, two, three, two, two things. That's what I was saying. Two, two things. Three <laughs> things. Two things. One is that um, apparently a lot of people in the chat don't know what a peep is. Oh, wow. It might be a North American candy. I think a lot of people from the UK are not sure what a peep is. Um, we have more fun facts and more of an exploration of what a peep is um, for later on in the stream. But just so everyone has like a general idea, they are marshmallows shaped like Easter adjacent animals. I guess chicks, chicks, they look more like ducks to me, but they're chicks and rabbits. They're, yeah, and they're, they're rabbits too. That's what I was. This confuses me. Covered in sugar. Right. And, and that's a peep. You said marshmallow Easter. Marshmallow covered in sugar. Yeah, you they're said Easter. Easter themed. Easter themed animals, and they usually show up around Easter. They're available for like you know the few weeks around Easter, and then they disappear again until the next year. They're very coated in sugar. And very. Until a recent filming expedition to a Target, Sophia and I weren't even aware that they had alternative flavor peeps. We always knew that there were different color peeps, but they all were standard mallow. Um, but that's not true. There's a lot of collaborations. Maybe it's new. Maybe it's the new thing. It's the Peeps X something X Adidas. It, that is what world we're that we live in. Today. X Pharrell. Are you um, introducing the fact that there are multiple flavors? Is that what's yes, happening? I am. Yes. Okay, cool. So there are multiple flavors, and then we saw them. We said we got to do something with these. Let's do a stream where we melt them all together. And then since then, which was a while ago, maybe February esque, because people start really early with the next holiday, as we all know, right? They're going to the next holiday all the time, and because Easter is in the foreground, in the distance. They uh, started up with the peeps early, but since then, which is about February, Carly has been prototyping this thing like crazy. So we have some idea on how to do this, but it's only an inkling. It's a bit of an arduous process yes. to Franken peep. We haven't. Carly has figured out something that will result in a Franken peep, but it's kind of hard. So as Tyler said, there's a lot of flavors here that we have because you know, I, I bet you they're all other. Candies that are also owned by the same company, but it's fine. You know, it's it's a collab. They're they're Peeps collabs slash Peeps variations. So we're going to be melting together one of every Peeps variation, and then we're going to see what happens. Before, before we dive in, should we do the things? We should. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to say we're going to dive in pretty fast because in the middle we're going to have some time where the Peep, the Franken Peep, is going to have to be in the freezer. Um, so let's do our things and then let's just dive in really quick. There are things that we should talk about in the front, but we're actually backloading those to the middle. Yes, we're like fun facts, tasting. We're going to taste our peeps in the middle. Our Furby submissions. Our Furbies, gonna... with, bur fur Furbies with boobs submissions. Furbies our with Fupas with boobs. <laughs> <laughs> our Fupas with Furbies. <laughs> our Fupa, our Fupa Furbies. Uh, no, uh, we. I got a lot of submissions and so did Sophia for um, Furbies with boobs. And we have several that we're going to share with you guys. Um, at our break, which is when we're basically going to be waiting for this thing to, f to harden so that we can then uh, form it into one of the many Easter adjacent animals. But let's talk about that. The I was going to say the elephant in the room. I was going to say the bucket hat in the room. I'm wearing a bucket hat today. I didn't feel like taking a shower. Um, but also, that's the only reason. My hair is crazy. I mean, it's it's actually just awful right now. And I do have a haircut it's scheduled. So tall. I do have a haircut <laughs> scheduled for Saturday. And this and is, he turned to the side. It was really tall. It's, it looks terrible. And we've been doing a lot of Zoom calls recently, and I have to keep on staring at my the weird ridges in my forehead. Ready? Yeah, thanks. You guys are zooming in on it. <laughs> no, no, show the bucket hat. Show the there's bucket a hat. ridge in my forehead right there. I keep staring at it. There's a sh shadow. And then also, here's the bucket hat, which is a. It's not a prototype. It's actually a like almost in production merch item. Yes. There are some tinkers from this one. This is the sample, and it is uh, a purple 
bucket hat with little bats on it, and there's also a black bucket hat with purple bats on it. So yes. we have two of them bouncing around right now. They're that right. it's it's upcoming. Yes. It's upcoming. But I'm wearing it because I think it's I think it looks good. Also, I'm wearing a really boring shirt. I was gonna give you so guys you gonna show that show the day. Hat. So now I'm offsetting it. You know, yeah. it's one of those things. Um, and then also we do, and I'm not trying to jog any. Pull any heartstrings? Pull any heartstrings, yeah. But we do have a cool mug um, that is mug of the day, which is a custom made by merch designer Jordan Krusty mug, which is the dumpster cat. Krusty in the dumpster. Yeah, as you can see, that is the dude in a dumpster in the back there. A and lot of people, I think on Instagram and on the stream, were requesting after we did Dolphin with Blowtorch, slash yeah. all the other ones right, we did, yeah. like do a Krusty mug. Um, this is actually from a design that merch designer Jordan, yeah, here it is. Uh, made that I think reads a little bit better, not from a cricket. Right. Because our like instant mug maker works a little bit differently. It, you right. can't really like, print. Right. Well, you can't. You can't get that fine. You can't get that multiple fine stripes, in a couple of messed up ears, you know, a pinched, a pinched lip. Yeah. It's difficult to get across on a tiny mug. I think Jordan did actually quite a good job with yeah. this, but um, the cricket's a little bit more difficult. Yeah. But this was this was our way to make an instant mug for this week. And that was also it's it's this design. I actually have a shirt version of it, which I also love. I also have like a Lord Normal like one that's like a it's basically the rip and dip one, but it's just crusty instead. That all came out uh, prior to Krusty passing away. So we had these kicking around. We said like these would be really fun for mugs. And also just like the vision of the crusty sort of like, uh, like merch was trash. always him in some kind of trash can. So uh, no matter you know where he's just like just full full pleasure lounging hanging. I guess I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> full leisure, plus his sort of um, trash instincts slash trash background. So, trash trash background. You know that's actually <laughs> him probably as his, his ultimate comfort is just him just chilling lounging plus having to have no rules no decorum no decorum no decorum Bad scratching <laughs> feeding himself eating. Covered in gravy. Yeah. yeah. So I think I really like the image. Yeah. So that's that's for Krusty. Um, and now let's dishonor his memory by making a Frank and Pete. Right. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Although I will say one time in our in that old apartment where we found Krusty, one time we were presented a pair of pigeon feet by the group of, of stray cats that lived outside. That is there. true. Yeah, yeah so. there were pigeons that lived in our AC unit, and if they landed too long, they would be a poultry Eaten. dinner, which is also why I think cats. that Krusty was a poultry cat. And whenever we try to give him like his like friskies and gravy with like salmon, no go. <laughs> it was only <laughs> ever poultry. Now tuna, tuna, I could I could trick him with it. Tuna, if I put tuna and pumpkin, he could get by. But yeah, so yeah, um, let's do it. As I said, we're about to dive in because we got to get this in the freezer. Moving, yes, let's okay, do it. Okay, cool. So how many variations do we have? Thirteen. 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 <laughs> you you wrote it down. Lucky I read it out 13. loud. <laughs> right. All right, so we have thirteen different peeps here. Um, we're going to introduce each one of them and then put them in the clear bowl. All right, Tyler, you want to put the bowl there? Maybe so the Nez can focus up on the bowl and I can just drop them in, All right. kind of. This this bowl. Right and I'm going to put one of each peep in. We're going to start off with the traditional peep. That's um, going to be this one, the just plain old marshmallow, marshmallow, just marshmallow. Plain marshmallow. Hey, real quick, before we go for it, did I do an okay job explaining Krusty's trash garbage essence? I don't think that there's much to explain. Okay. I yeah. think everyone knows. I just wanted to make sure I had the right honoring words about his garbage essence, you know? Just because, you know, it's just uh, one of his essential qualities that, you know, he's just always got that sort of like dumpster cat in him. I think you got it. Oh, oh my cool. god. Yeah, got it. Okay. <laughs> The peeps are intact, they did fall. Um, okay, real quick, we are going to try all of the 13 peeps. Is it 13? We have 13 total. We are going to try all 13 of them, but when we are waiting for it to harden. Again, we're going to get all these things going, we're going to get the melting going, we're going to get our batter, our Franken peep batter, and then we'll get there. All right, I kind of want to show you guys like the way peeps are. If you guys don't know peeps, they're like soft and squidgy. Yeah, squishy or squidgy. Kind of both. Yeah, kind of both, yeah. Okay. All right, so that's a plain peep. And we think that's supposed to be a chickadee. A chick? Yeah, it looks more like a duck to me, but it's, I understand it's a chick. Well, I it's was definitely a thinking chick. the eye placement on this one was weird, actually. Yeah, I was going to say the same. Yeah, this one has really, <laughs> it's just really <laughs> random. Actually, can we go to the top down so I can show you guys? The top down? Yeah. <laughs> can we go to the top down? <laughs> it's like, wait, what is that? It, it looks like a croc. Honestly, well, I'm going the wrong way. There you go. It looks like a croc. <laughs> I do have Peeps Crocs that I forgot to bring downstairs. Yeah. Maybe if we have a lot of time in the middle, I can run upstairs. We're going to have a decent amount of time. I think the Furby vamp could be effective. All right. Yeah. The next up, we have the original donut shop coffee peep. 
that because it says original donut shop. Because I was going to say like I've never it's heard so it's of this a, Actually, it's a Keurig collab. It's Keurig because the original donut shop coffee is a Keurig cup. Yes, I remember it from when we had a Keurig and not an espresso. <laughs> It's actually just, just inconvenient. The espresso is hard to get. You can only order specific ones. They have yes, very few actually, stores. Actually, I would orders. not like, recommend an espresso at all. Yeah. Because they make it really difficult to get their cups. Like they don't sell them at the grocery store. And they all destroy your stomach. And, and beyond just like the obvious ones with coffee, it being a diuretic, but like they just like they actually just burn your stomach if you drink like five a day. Now, should you drink five a day? I do. So there's nothing I can really do on that front. Okay, that's really pungent. Wow. This is. Oh, oh, interesting. This one actually is inside also different. I was wondering if all of the different flavors were just like the sugar outing right. coating, but no, that one's a little bit different. It is very pungent. It smells coffee-y. But it, it's like, do you want Keurig flavored coffee? Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I would get like, peeps, oh, it's mean? like La Cologne or some fancy- Keurig flavored peeps? Peeps, yeah, no, but do you want like a, do you want Keurig flavored anything? Like, oh, okay, like, fair enough. Kind of like just like go along with it when you get the Keurig flavoring. It's like, this is just mediocre coffee. I put it in there, I pop it in. I, I It's not like Pete's coffee or Phil's coffee, like something that people really like. Rock alone, Stump Town, right? These are the ones that people like. To your point, maybe It's just, not bougie. Right, it's not bougie, I'm saying. Listen, it's a peep for the people. It's a peep for the people. Is that even true? No. Is that, <laughs> is, is that wouldn't you say that you would might want like a, What's a more of the people coffee? Dunkin' Donuts coffee? Excellent. You know, maybe it's more affordable than a lot of cologne. Just say. You Folgers? You can brew it yourself? All right, here's chocolate pudding. I don't think I'm getting enough of a reaction for this. No, I'm actually, <laughs> I, I actually uh, moved on from whatever you were saying. Oh, interesting, this one's also, also chocolatey on the inside, you see? I Chocolate was... pudding, rabbit. Here's a rabbit, by the way. This is our first rabbit. It's okay. I you can see him there. I was saying, and I just went on living my life. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to take the chat tie and I can keep doing this? I'm kind of on a roll. Why do you keep doing it? Do I have to, ooh, chat, let's, let's let's talk. Say nice things to me, guys. Do you want to take the, you can take B over there. I, I can be over here. Okay. I'm good, I'm good. All right, great. How much caffeine has Tyler had? Well, I've had a lot of caffeine today. I don't have anything in my coffee mug because I already chugged my iced coffee. So there you go. Here we've got a sour wetter, yep. watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> watermelon, wetter than watermelon, a sour watermelon peep. This one makes sense to me because I feel like the sugar just being kind of like almost like a sour patch kid kind of vibe. That makes sense to me. Here's a live stream dynamic. Someone says, "What's the deal with Tyler's bucket hat?" I feel like I was very thorough, <laughs> <laughs> right? But it's a live stream. Yeah, comment, right. You're gonna have really, to wait. I, I explain it. Yeah, no. Listen, hey, it's it's here. It's Ooh. on my head. It's mostly related to my self esteem, related to my hair. It's right. bad. My hair is bad. This is actually, these are actually better than I thought they would be. They look cool. So here you can see they're green. What's on in the inside? Inside. It, uh, oh. Is it red? It's oh. pink. That's some advanced peep technology right there. I'm impressed. Peeps are at the forefront of peep technology. <laughs> Have we just phased out? <laughs> Thank you, James Smith. Have we just phased out seeds and watermelon? Yeah, no. Yeah. Don't you feel like that you don't like that used to be like the oh, you number think, one? You mean are they have they been genetically re removed? Yeah, I kind of feel like I, I see less seeds in watermelon, or I like eat the the white ones. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like I can eat seeds. Remember there was an episode of Rugrats back in like '94, mm -hmm. and it was basically they they swallow a seed and then they do the um, the Great Adventure where they go inside of I believe Chucky's body Absolutely. to try to find the seed to get rid of it before it expands into a full watermelon. He'll explode because Angelica tells him that's gonna happen. But then. <laughs> Then Angelica, this is actually the most evil thing Angelica does or implies, Literally says she wants happening. to go inside of Chucky's stomach and then also water it so that he will be killed for a single watermelon. Okay, this is the birthday cake peep. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, it smells actually like really battery y. No, sorry, batter esque, not like batteries. <laughs> I barely see seeds anymore. Well, someone asked us, so what's up? With oh the shirt my god, yeah, day? it smells so good, right? But see, I'm replacing the shirt of the day with the bucket hat of the day. Hat of the day. Yeah, you know. Now you're going to have to keep like, that up. I was just stuck downstairs. I got a little lazy. I'll, I'll wear a beanie. I got a beanie I can wear. I got a couple beanies. You can probably okay, beanies. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> just a couple beanies and a bucket hat. Multiple <laughs> beanies. I got to just keep setting. Maybe I'll get Jordan to make um, custom beanies. Okay. I have two things, to, three things. One thing Jordan's to say. Jordan's got an embroidery machine. Th yeah. four, three, What's up? Four things to say. What's up? Okay. <laughs> One is that. It's possible that watermelon seeds are like less prominent in our lives. It, maybe they pick them at different times. You know what I mean? Sure. Um, two, if you talk to Matt Pat, he, he'll talk about how like the things we know as fruit have been like rebred and like 
um, farmed in different GMO, ways. GMO, GMO, yeah. Or no, like the bananas. Like the bananas we eat now are like completely different from the bananas that we used to eat. And that's why banana candy tastes different. Exactly. Which is, I think, a theory that Matt Pat is working on for food theory, which is like, why do artificial tastes of fruits not taste like the fruits? That, whatever Carly just said, I've heard a lot of people say that exact phraseology in the last couple of weeks. I feel yeah. like that's going around. It's in yeah. the I air. I talking about that right now. Yeah. That's new it's information in the air. that yeah. I learned. Yeah. Completely <laughs> unverified source. Yeah. <laughs> The other thing I was going to say is that if Tyler and I seem crazed, also explains the lack of shirt and shower. It's because today we've been trying to optimize the changing gears thing. What's that? Where it's like Tyler and I have a lot of <laughs> editing to do today. <laughs> then we also have meetings. Then we also have to stream. And then we have to go back to editing. And, and then, then we have, have another meeting tonight. Yeah, actually, we have another meeting tonight. Yeah. So, so. that's kind of what's happening today. Yeah. We got a lot um, going on here. Here's a fruit punch peep. I actually think that I'm usually incredibly unproductive on days where I have to change gears multiple times, but I actually think that compar comparatively, I've been doing okay today. You guys can tell me how I'm doing on the stream <laughs> right now, but I'm here at least. <laughs> hey, Jay Madrid says showers are overrated. So yeah, there you go. We're uh, right. So we're on the same boat here. Yeah. Listen, I, the thing is right now is my hair is such a mess that if I go and take a shower I'm anyway, it's not like I'm achieving anything positive. Right, so it doesn't even matter if I even do shower. Yeah. Noted. So I, I figured just mail it in, just wear the hat. I will say that on Zoom calls, I look particularly just, <laughs> so, you know. The fruit punch ones are super pungent. They look radioactive. Like, <laughs> they look like really red. Flaming hot peeps. All right, let's see, are they red inside? Oh, they're kind of pink. Not super red, but they're kind of pink. I am very um, excited that the insides seem to be different flavors as well. Me too. I think there's a layer, there's a, an additional layer of customization that's happening here. Fruit punch is dangerous. Fruit punch is dangerous. Kool-Aid vibes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, big time. Is that what it is? It I mean, it's not actually Kool-Aid, but it smells like Kool-Aid. I mean, there's a whole arena of fruit punches, right? I would say that one of the textbook fruit pl punch flavors is the Gatorade fruit punch, oh. right? Because that's the one that is, to me, most consumed. Um, there is one that that smells like. Maybe that it was the the, the Kool Aid was it wasn't a bad call. I would say though it was powdered Kool Aid because Kool Aid yes. in the bottles was a whole myriad of flavors. You got your like kiwi strawberries, you got your watermelon, you got your blue raspberries. But then when you have actual fruit punch in the bowl, in the thing, and you put your face and you smell it, that's what that smells like. It's Hawaiian punch fruit punch, or is that a completely different? I take everything back. Oh. It was Hawaiian punch. Oh. Okay. Hawaiian punch, yeah. I take that all back. Actually, Kool-Aid wow. <laughs> Kool Aid is good, but Hawaiian punch is classic. Also, because we dove in so quickly, we forgot to say, if you want to play bingo oh, right, right, along right, with our yeah. stream, you can find the link in the description below. Yeah. I'm, I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'm very sorry. You guys, no, it, there, it, Asof keeps going. There's no real prize with bingo other than the joy and the immense satisfaction that you get when you when you win, um, but it's an all honor system thing, and if you win, you can redeem a 1% code, which I don't know actually what Off it is right now, so we're gonna no, have to it's ask. it's blacked yeah. back in, one word. Now we put that. I just blacked back in, what no, was the word? Hold on, time out, time out. Oh, but everyone now just, you just revealed off the it. stream. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's gone. <laughs> you're supposed to wait well, to the end. Are you just lying? It's fine. What, no, what wait. Oh, you were saying it's all jet. Okay, got it, yeah. I was just saying it was kind of fun to wait till the end and reveal it. <laughs> I just blacked back in. What are we talking about? <laughs> that was just a natural conversation. <laughs> so that was the cotton candy one. It kind of smelled like the birthday cake one, but it is pink inside, which is cute. Sorry. I'm sorry. I ruined everything. Uh, Angela Marcius asks, an eternal question is, do they sell Hawaiian Punch in Hawaii? They, they must. I they, actually they feel like... They probably sell it at every Acme in America, right? Or like, you know, Whole Foods, Safeway. Does it still exist? It, it might not be street legal. <laughs> I think that there is a high likelihood that in Hawaii, somewhere there is sold Hawaiian punch. Yeah, like a 7-Eleven. I do not believe it is a Hawaiian punch. Right. It's not. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> I will say also <laughs> regarding Hawaiian punch, I think it's got to be on the short list of things that are lobbied against. Like, like let's get rid of Hawaiian punch. Like, let's get rid of Like Kool in vending machines. Yeah, let's get rid of these things that are horrible for your bloodstream. They're just like straight but up. But delicious. I, I think we were talking to somebody recently. I was like... Stuff. Fruit punch, I feel like, is one of the most culpable flavorings because it's so sweet and everyone just drinks lots of fruit punch and it just, it's not, there's zero juice contents. You're talking about the, these things that just exist as like we'll supple see. supplements to big corn, just so straight corn syrup to the face. Exactly, corn syrup to the face. I did say, see someone just say in the chat that I'm talking too much right now. But as opposed to what? <laughs> as opposed to what? Like I said, this is 
gear shifting, right? Yeah. We're like, okay, we've been quiet all day. Hello, we're supposed to be on camera. Hi, ha, ha, ha. That's what it's like. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right, this is Tropical Burst. That smells a lot like Fruit Punch. Tropical Burst, also I want to note these peeps are all three-eyed. <laughs> or at least... Uh, it's just off to the side. No, this one definitely has a third one in the, oh, on the oh, side of the head. Oh, I see. What I like is also... <laughs> I'm gonna try and get that one. What the I like one in the middle. The irreverent ideas that are endlessly pitched now in the chat and in our DMs and in our comment sections of all our short forms because of the prevalence of Frog with Knife. Three-eyed peep. And like Furbies with boobs. I just saw here, new mug idea. A possum with a machine gun. <laughs> wow. <laughs> right, and so I've also seen, was it chicken with a taser? <laughs> Bird with taser, Bird I think. Bird with taser, I mean like these things are just being thrown around like, it, it's, they're all great though. Now, I do like the imagery of Bulldozer, who is the, the hamster that we are adjacent to. Yes. <laughs> Very tiny in the 21 Drum, Jump Street movie poster holding a tiny gun. Yeah, that was great. I like that one. Yeah, it, it's a, yeah, you got Channing Tatum, Joan Hill back to back. And, and then as a third. right here. You have to zoom in like really far. <laughs> and you see, what's that? Oh it's, oh, it's a hamster. Okay. <laughs> it's Bulldozer wearing fiendish behavior, behavior merch. Yes. Also packing heat. Actually, he might have a tux on. Because they all have like prom tuxes on. I, you sure? I thought he was wearing uh, the like the guillotine merch. I have no idea. There I might be two wearing. different ones. <laughs> <laughs> there might be multiple iterations yeah. of the same image. Are we done? No. Okay. These are eight peeps in here. They actually look really frankenable, right? Look at how many different ones there are. I love when there are different variations that are fun to franken. Right. Okay, here is Hot Tamale. This was actually the peep that started it all. Yeah, this is the most bothersome one, in my opinion. This was the peep heard around the yeah. world. This was the peep that we saw at Target. We were like, oh, they do a lot of different flavors of peeps. Oh, okay, so we've now- We should melt them. We, we've now led the witness a little bit here, so we're getting more of these bad boys. Okay, we have bulldozer driving a bulldozer. Right. Worm oh, with right. bomb. <laughs> Furby with knife. I mean, the Furby. Worm with yeah. bomb. How does he even <laughs> hold it? I don't know. I don't know. Just <laughs> next to it? Yeah. On, just on, it. on the tail? Maybe. He just is the like t <laughs> like the dynamite stick. Oh, he's the string. Oh, that's yeah. interesting, Wait, actually. that sucks for him. Yeah, it's very. <laughs> that's dark. Yeah, it's very dark, yeah. Um, Elephant with a elephant with a gun. Okay, there's a lot of weaponry here. I feel like the 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 uh, elegance of the butcher knife, right, worked really well with Frog because he can just be like grandfathered into a Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees type cannon very effortlessly. I like the taser too. That is really weird. It's very cinnamony. Yeah. It, it smells like a red hot gum, red or red hot. It's like I mean, hot tamales. That's the candy it is supposed to be. When I saw them, whenever I see them, I'm like expecting like a flaming hot Cheeto smell, though. So I'm always very confused I by the say, scent. I will say, and this is out to merch designer Jordan slash uh, co-parent Allie, that there is a lot of momentum uh, for bulldozer in a bulldozer. What if what if we could like somehow make you know, like almost like Evan and Caitlin style, like a like remote controlled bulldozer. Cause it'd probably be the right size for bulldozer, right? And maybe we could even get one. Cause you could probably buy like a medium sized, like Tonka bulldozer right. and it would be big enough for bulldozer. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's what I'm talking no, about. No, totally. Actually, that's not that, that's, that's not, not a bad that's idea. That's not the worst idea. But I do with. also like the idea of an image of an actual bulldozer to scale and bulldozer actually to scale and it looks just like a bulldozer, but if you zoom in really close on the <laughs> steering wheel, bulldozer's like hanging on. <laughs> I, I don't know why I think that's amusing. I got more of these things, if you guys find this interesting. I don't want to talk too much here, but I have right, a lot. Calm down, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got a lot here. Um, just joined, what the heck, Tyler? What am I even talking about that might garner that response? Okay, here we go. I got lizard on washing machine. I have- oh, I, I didn't show these, sorry. Um, I saw a couple good ones. I saw bat with bat. A bat with a bat, oh, right? Oh, genius! Right, exactly. Um, I also have bat with Molotov cocktail, which is a little bit less <laughs> graceful mm. than that. Um, I have kangaroo with a chainsaw, pretty good. Why are they all <laughs> weapons? I is don't it know. Frog it's with knife some violence, has yeah. a knife. I like this one. Alligator with numb trucks. Uh, you can have shrimp riding a motorcycle. I think your mic is falling. Oh yeah, it is. Sorry. Is it really annoying? I okay. like this one. Can Canadian yeah. beaver okay. with maple wood <laughs> daggers. That's like a very <laughs> Canadian one. So, okay, do you need help over here? I can start cooking. No, I don't need help yet. Yeah. Okay. I just, my mic was messed up. Okay. 
Well, so there's a lot of things in here. I like this one. Dog with typewriter. And he's writing about arson. So there's like a lot going on. <laughs> and he's writing about arson. About it, yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this is a sparkly wild berry peep, but he's purple on the inside too. You see? I think it's kind of interesting. I know I, I don't know how to. I can't really prove it, but I, he's purple <laughs> on the inside too. Because I, I I I tore him off off camera. But okay, we have three left. So okay. those are all of our different peep flavors. Right. What we have now are three variations on glasses. Mm, three different flavors of a variation on a peep, if that makes sense. Okay. Because these are peeps with chocolate on the bottom. And now this is where the frankening might have become too franken. You think? I think this, this is, might be what caused Carly some trouble. Okay. Because these are no longer just marshmallow. It's like marshmallow and chocolate. But we're putting them in. Oh, we are? Yes. Carly, do you, uh, you approve that? No, no. I've, I've put them in before. Okay, go, okay, yeah, go, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. No, I'm, I'm saying yeah. like in, in like, a, on like a high level. Like right. when, I think, when you think right. about the, the Franken, I'm going to guess that this is not helping the Franken. No, it's not helping. All right, I, did I show this? Yes. Okay. Well, you guys can see. It's like a peep with chocolate on the butt. It looks good. It smells good. Now, I do like peeps. Right. I don't have a high tolerance for peeps. Like after like one peep in, I'm like, that's enough peep. You right. know, I, I, but I do like peeps at a, at a baseline level in terms of like Easter candies. My favorite Easter candy is probably any type of chocolate egg though, really puts it over the top. Oh, of there's me. a myriad of those, the caramel fill ones. I did. A lot of the this. Easter candies at a high level, I feel like are very cloying snacks. You know, I feel like the, the, like the powdery eggs you know, or, the, or eggs with chocolate in them, chocolate eggs, chocolate bunnies that have caramel in the ears. Well, chocolate bunnies can be really large. They're huge. They're yeah. huge, yeah. I find them to this be- This is a, a strawberry chocolate dipped one. Very cloying. Uh, and I do find that really powdery things like Peeps are difficult to get through. Uh, should I start this up? I'm gonna put this on yeah. medium low. Yeah. Medium low heat. Okay, so we're gonna get this going. Do I have right. a spatula? Yes. Uh, should be on the table somewhere. And then this is another um, Keurig donut shop coffee do donut shop coffee one, and his eyes are like really far on the back of his head. I think your hypothesis, though, that there might be like a donut shop is owned by the Peeps Company is over the target. I mean, the chance that they're all owned by Nestle is high. Oh <laughs> like, yeah, you know what I mean. Medium high. Yeah. <laughs> well, the hot tamales are definitely made by the same right. brand as Peeps. There you go. All right, let's see how that looks on the top down. Uh, there we go. Okay, cool. Okay, right. I'm wanna here. You want to take the chat? I'll handle the cooking. I'll take the chat back. Here you go. Do you, do, did I get to show this? Did I show you my whole whole thing? I think so, yeah. The bowl? You guys saw it, right? There you go. Like the, bowl. the bowl. Oh, it's, it's okay, Ness. The top down can see it. Yeah, I got That's it. the bowl of peeps, baby. It's a me, a peep. A peep. Yeah. A, I saw I'm some peeping points. me. I'm They're peeping. We're peeps. We're we're peeping. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what? Give the peeps all what they want. I don't think they want this. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think anyone wants this. You don't even want the stream. <laughs> okay. Um, also, in case you guys are wondering, while we wait for this to heat up, uh, we do have a main channel video coming out soon. It's in like pretty decently late stages of editing. It's going <laughs> to be like it's about a week out because we're trying some different stuff with our post-production <laughs> workflow slash timelining. So, but it is. Oh, the main be, channel video? Yeah, it's going to be good. That we already spoiled on all of our stories. It is on our is stories. the Williamsburg video. It is a Williamsburg video. It's really fun. Uh, it is. It's a long one. I tried to make it shorter, mm -hmm. but I can't. No, it's a hard one. It's going to be like at least 29 minutes. We would have to cut like segments to get it shorter. Yeah. And then we also didn't want to like do the vlog at the end when Sophia's like makeover too, like too fast. Because it's like, Cause that's I think like super fun. Part of the fun of the video is I'm in costume at Williamsburg, right? right. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Cool. Ca Claudia Arbona says peep salad. Tyler, what are we doing right now? We are well, we're just melting butter right now. Um, once we finish melting the butter, we're going to put all of the peeps into this thing, and then we're going to melt them. That's right, right? Yeah. <laughs> and while you're doing that, you can like powder mm. sugar the red thing, and then mix all of the sugars, and then like 
get the frozen powder sugar this mix all these guys in here right and mm -hmm. then we're gonna do the grating in here you can grate it in the other bowl okay. I would have the separate cool all right Saf, do you want to get this ready to go we're gonna mix all these four here and we're gonna powder sugar the heck out of this guy because we're gonna actually put our like concoction yes yes okay okay wait what you're giving this to me, right? Yes. And I'm gonna put powdered sugar in it to like line it, so when we put our Franken mixer in there, it doesn't stick. Oh, powdered sugar. Down? Yeah. All right, hold on, really quick, Ty. People have requested putting the ones without the chocolate in first. Okay. They want to see what it looks like melted without the chocolate in. Is that okay, Carly? I don't know. We'll find <laughs> out. <laughs> well, I mean, just or just like start with the other ones. You know, I think it should be okay. Okay. Um, people are obviously you guys in the chat are saying that you guys like longer videos. I. I appreciate that. I appreciate that you like longer videos. I like long videos, but a video that's closer to 23 minutes is much easier for us to finish yes. than a video that's closer to 29 minutes. That's I have no intention of making eight minute videos or, or like really short videos, but just, you know, it's for, for our sanity's sake, it is usually a little bit easier if it's a little bit shorter. Well, we're just trying to do as many videos as we can, just because right. we like want to just like address like other topics. It's just like really fun for us. Yeah. But if you think about it, like if video is twenty minutes versus thirty minutes, it's just like another thirty percent more work, which is going to be like three to four days, and the way it falls with weekends, or just like you know getting tired, or like sort of not having like consistent levels of energy throughout the workflow, it could end up being like another week. You know. So I think that for us, we're just trying to get it like a little shorter, just so we can turn around and do more different. Just projects. a little shorter. Yeah. Probably can I use my hands? The, I yeah. use my hands. It's like yeah. a sweet spot. And put it up the sides of it too, and yeah. then you can dump the excess onto the cutting board. Great. Love it. Is that enough? You might want more, maybe. I have this much. I can show Carly so she can see. Is this enough? Yeah, well, I would completely rub it in and then get all of the excess out. Cool. cool. And then the like actual sanding sugar will help it not stick. And I should mix all the sanding sugars together and put it at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Cool. Kind of like as like a full layer. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Like very generously put it down there. I feel like <laughs> I feel like we should actually <laughs> add the chocolate ones in so they melt at the same pace. That's what I think so. Yeah. Because yeah. It, sure. otherwise, I feel like it'll burn at different rates. Carly and Tyler Vito. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's just my opinion. Yeah. It's just my opinion. <laughs> uh, but. Rebecca B says, for some reason I didn't imagine melting them. Instead, I imagined a blender. A peep oh. smoothie, <laughs> if well, you will. That would lend itself very well to a Frank off, right? We could do multiple methods. We'll take another another that stab at the Frank genius. and peas. <laughs> because then you could have put it in like an actual pastry bag, like how they do it, and then just Oh. Make well, a, wow. Listen, Carly, I like Rebecca. <laughs> okay. Rebecca Carly, I, B. I like, your, I like your idea here. Okay. Maybe next year we'll come back with another Frank and Peep. Maybe. I'm going to try to screenshot this right now. Screenshot that. Literally just in <laughs> case we need it for a future stream. I screenshotted it. Okay. Um, is Tyler's hat new merch? It is, but it's not coming out quite yet. No. Okay, they're melting in there. Yeah. You put the chocolate ones in it. It's fine. Well, because well, they have to melt at yeah, the same pace. Yeah, I don't want to uh, burn the other Peeps waiting for the chocolate. That's Sorry, what guys. That's about. I can try to melt the tops of them first, but you know that's the best I can do. Uh, yeah, you need more powder sugar. You good? People are worried about making a water bath for the peep. It's okay. We'll be fine, what right? What does that mean? Like using, like boiling water and then putting it in a clear bowl. Oh, I've never but done that. But Carly has a. A uh, <laughs> uh, precedent of a Franken peep. <laughs> yeah, Carly's being bold. <laughs> I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying that it's never been done before. <laughs> Carly has been in Franken peeps. Yeah, exactly. This is also at this point now. In case we want to do another Franken peep in the future, maybe that's a second method. This is actually the method that they use for making peep rice krispies. Oh, okay, that makes sense. And you can put it in the microwave too. I like there you that go. Flex. I like that flex. <laughs> <laughs> Just this saying. Is a from my yeah. research. Yeah. <laughs> from my, my many research. hours of digging through this. Yeah, I would just make sure that you're continuously stirring it, sort of. Don't stir it. Yeah. I see some melty down there. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see some melty. I see some melty. Let me see. No, it's it's getting there. So <laughs> it's so dark. It's dark, but. There you go. It's the heart of peep hell. Sorry, I'm now just indiscriminately messing around with the top down. I'm I trying apologize. to make sure that I am aesthetically mixing these peeps, okay? I do not want to have a bothersome method of stirring these right now. 
It's a little chocolate here. Ooh, it's, it's becoming a clump. I like it. Oh, how's that? How's the uh, sugaring going, Sophia? Um, I think I'm done. Okay, then let's go in with these I guys. I always dump that onto the. Yes. Yeah, and then do the sanding, the sanding sugars. Cool. And you can probably go grab the frozen peeps. I think. Okay. Great. All good? Yeah. No, it's just so, no, nothing. It's all good. What happened? <laughs> no, it's just someone was saying that it's really annoying that I look at the chat. And I was like, damn it, I can't win. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you look at the chat right now, Sal? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. It's tough. Why don't we? Okay, we'll put the chat on the floor. Yeah. Because clearly it was getting under my skin and, you know, or I don't know. I mean, I, it was one person. I don't want to spoil it for everybody. But let's, we'll just oh, focus perfect. on Thanks, this. Nez. We have a lot going on here anyway. Nez's hand has revealed the existence of frozen peeps, <laughs> which we are going to use. Frozen to, peeps. We're going to grate these things. So we have two batches of all the peeps. And we're going to use this as a method to then create a Franken peep grating. What would you call this, actually, Farley? This is like the, the, the shavings? Yeah, I, I called it zesting. <laughs> I like it. Um, Do I have to pre-mix these sprinkles? You don't have to if you don't want to. They're just It's just for fun. Hey, Sweetums. Yeah? You, you might want to go fast with that because this is catching up. OK, then I'm just going to sprinkle. Yeah. I'm just, y no one really cares what I'm doing over here. I'm just creating the barrier for the peeps, yeah. for the marshmallow concoction. How are you doing over there? It's looking kind of franken for e color. It <laughs> is. Nice and purple. If you guys can name this, then you will do a giveaway, and we'll send you a lipstick of this color. It looks bad right now. You do not want this as a lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's the kind of thing that kind of looks a little unappetizing in a bowl, but I bet you swatched on the face, and I'm not going to do that right now because it's hot marshmallow, so it would burn me. That would um, not be wise. But it could be yeah. a good color, like a nice sort of um, murdered peep M maroon, it's got, as yeah, they yeah. say. They call it Cronin peep. <laughs> what does that mean? Like a Cronenberg peep. I don't know what that means. Cronenberg was like, you believe he was a makeup special effects director. Oh, over oh, horror movies. Yes. His marquee product or movie was The Fly, starring everyone's sexy hunk, Jeff Goldblum. And he becomes a fly and he attacks Gina Davis. That's what happens. Don't worry about it. It's a movie. It's really gross, actually. The Fly is a very gross movie. OK, I am going to insert myself really quick. This is what it looks like. We've created a barrier of sugar at yes. the bottom. So the marshmallow doesn't just completely stick to our silicone mold. Carly, Does that look okay, Carly? I it's pretty so. thick. Uh, yeah, it's hard to tell because it's red with red sugar in there, but I think I, think I don't see any silicone. Okay, then you're good. So, okay, real quick. So where are we with this, Carly? How I long? would stir it pretty aggressively just to make sure that it's like liquid quickly, okay. and, then, and then you're probably good to pour it in. And then do we have time to do the zesting still? Do we, once, once it's in there, we can zest and then put it on? Once it's in there, I would put the sanding sugar on again, and then you can zest some if you want. I, I, I think we're a little behind on the zesting. Would, would that be? What do I need to zest? Zest in? Yeah, we want to. We'll zest into a separate bowl to put on top ones because this is about to go into the mold. Yeah, you're gonna grate those ones if you. Unless you want to stir this one, and I can get that ready to go. No, I'll be okay. Oh, actually, it is kind of liquid. Let me just take this off. For a it's gonna stick like crazy inside. The other thing option that I have is I could also just dump out excess sugar from my other ones, mm -hmm. which I might do. Right. So also, so we don't have to open all these. It could be <laughs> for anyone in the office who wants them. Notorious. We have a lot of people in our office who notoriously like to eat frosting with a yeah. spoon. Yeah, that's very odd. <laughs> I, Thank I'm not, you. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> uh, hey, Nez, you want to grab focus on this thing real, real quick so that when I pour it in, we can get a cool shot of it? Carly, what do you think? Pretty close, right? Yeah, I think it's good. Ready to go? OK, yeah. cool. All right, no, Nez, you give me the nod. We're ready to go. I think we're All right, good. cool. Let's do it. Let's turn this. <laughs> All right, I completely missed my zesting window. No, no, not right now, Sophie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. 
Okay, here we go. I think we got a lot. How, how much batter do I want to get in there? All of it, or get, yeah, get all of it in there, and then you don't have to spread it. It'll spread out on its own. Just okay. like make sure you get it all in the middle, and then it'll eventually spread. I kind of wore down my arm just a second ago doing that final stirring, and it's kind of tacky, so it's uh, a little difficult. Ooh. It's definitely very brown. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there was way more in there than I thought. I know, I know. I this thought is we hard. were No, keep end. going, keep going, keep going. I know, Sock, my arm's really tired. Oh, now. here, I can do it. Yeah. No, no, hold on. Swap no, out with me. No, 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 no. Listen, oh. listen, listen. I just got it repositioned. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, you're good. So I'm inserting myself in the situation. Here's, um, I'm going to try and get myself out of having to zest these peeps. Here's the thing is that the, 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 the sugar is melted in. So the flavoring from the sugar is melted in. Okay. And. <laughs> Close enough. Oh yeah, no, you did it, nailed it, absolutely. So I'll I would show put the top down. Ooh, that actually was exhausting. I'm like, I'm very sweaty right now. Okay, cool, perfect. Let's now let's hit it with all the sugars, right? I uh, was trying to get is. myself out of doing that. No, oh, no. with those, with those, yes. with those. Yeah, okay. definitely do those. Okay, okay. Can I direct you to this right here? That is all the instructions <laughs> you could just look at. <laughs> <laughs> I like how the zesting of the peeps was your idea. Also. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you pushed to get that. <laughs> I did. I like actively did. Yeah, do, don't do the red one. No? Do the red one. You want, you want different colors? No. Wait, what are you doing? Okay. We're trying to put as much on this as possible. Okay. We gotta coat this bad boy. There's a bubble forming. There is a bubble forming. Oh, Top that's down. peculiar. <laughs> this is from all my... Intriguing, intriguing. It's like a yolk. Oh, I hold it like that, off. I'm coming in. How thick is it? Coming in. I gotta coat I'm this. defending why we didn't zest the peeps. I think there's enough sugar on it. There's sugar. Um, a, we, we a lot of the sugar will dust off once we'll yeah. dust it off once we uh, have yeah. it out. It was mainly for the bottom of it. And it's then mainly for the bottom. Oh my god! Not. What's, What's happening? up? <laughs> What's happening? Tally, it's enough. You think? I yeah. Think we're good. I think we're good. All right. Let me just give I'm me one of the. Give me one peep. Can I just do one grated peep one? One grated peep. Give me a lemon peep so I can put a full zest onto it. There's no lemon. Never mind. Okay, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> I think, well, we I, I think actually I'm going to take it to the freezer just so I can look at it okay. and There's see the consistency. I wouldn't do one peep because then it would skew the flavor You're towards right. that peep. No, that's not a good franking experiment. Why we're not doing the zesting of the peeps? Because they're, all the sugars of all different peeps is already melted in. Yes. And also... That is Carly's reveal right there. That was Carly's hand. <laughs> you didn't um, it appear on camera. <laughs> um, the... All the sugar is melted in, and there are also the different flavors of the peeps also melted in. So it's all in there. I agree. We don't need a franken sugar if the franken sugar is melted in. One hundred percent. Okay. You're good. It's a good experiment. I like it. Also, listen. If you add a step to an experiment, you're allowed to veto it. That's okay. the standing <laughs> rule for Fra the franken world, right? <laughs> if you come up with something that creates more work for everybody, and, and you then I decide to not it, to do it, or you just forgot to do it in the middle of the stream. Mm -hmm. uh, Live television, people. Um, then you're good. Cool. Okay, cool. So we got 30 minutes here. Now that our Franken peep cake, because it kind of just came out like a little blob pancake that we coated with sugar on either side. Yes. Our Franken peep cake is in the freezer. Right. Now we can go forth with our things that we would usually do at the beginning of the stream. Yeah. Like our fun facts, our Furbies. Yes. And our tasting of each of these peeps. Yes. This is the one thing about doing a Franken live on stream is that, you know, usually we'd like taste them as they go in, but you know, we gotta get we gotta get the peep cake in the Oh, we can do the taste test, that's right. Yeah now. Yeah, we can do the taste test. I like it. Alright, will you will you take the chat? I can take the chat. I'm fighting with them. By reading them too much, you have been hoisted by your own petard. Exactly. Yeah. Um all right. So, do we need to taste a traditional peep? Uh, well, you know, actually, Hip Girl ninety five says, "Are these peeps any good on their own?" Perfect timing. Actually, can I try as a palate establisher the classic peep? Actually, because yes. I have, I don't think I've had a peep since like nineteen ninety six. Yes. Which is um, twenty six years ago. Holy crap! Yeah, is that crazy? That's yeah. when my brother was born. Yeah. Yes, the classic peep. Here you go, Tyler. I don't know. I can maybe just hold them over the warm hot plate and I can kind of just come back to this every time. So here's the classic peep. All right, Tyler. Bring it on. How much of this peep do you want? I want one bite because I feel like we can get through most. We can save almost all the peeps. Obviously, one of them will have to be sacrificed to my stomach. 
But I feel like one bite is good. Ready? Honestly, these are such fresh peeps. That was a very nice marshmallow, like, you know what I mean? No, there's almost an ASMR to the marshmallow. You get this like nice sandy crunch. It's pretty good. It's sandy, yes. Peeps are sandy. Yeah. I agree completely. Damn, that's solid. That is solid. It is super sweet. Yeah. There's no substance to it. Substance to a peep. That's the biggest weakness to it as a candy. Is there's no hardness. There's no weight to it. There's no like like with chocolate. Like there's a weight. There's almost like a savory element to chocolate. You know, you can have almost a bitter element to chocolate. Right. A peep is just like a puff of air. Are you a um, mallow person when it comes to like a campfire? Like do you like a, do you like a good marshmallow? Are you a s'mores person? Do you do the burn, light on fire, blow it out, eat it? Are you a golden brown marshmallow person? It's a, are you a bag person? You know the person that just has the bag and just goes through the bag, you know? Okay. <laughs> right? like, that's what I, You've asked me like eight <laughs> questions in a row. Well, I was trying to give you options. With no you know? time to answer. I was just trying to establish that these things exist. <laughs> just a monologue. Yeah, All right, exactly. I'm also going to grab the fun facts okay. so I can read them later. Okay, cool. In one second. Um, here's the thing about me and marshmallows. I sort of like, um, you know you have like weird fixations as a kid? I was yes. fixated on the smell of a bag of marshmallows. Like if you smell the outside of a bag of marshmallows, it smells super good. Don't eat that one yet. Let me introduce introduce them. I was trying to do a rolling I'm thing when we're eating. I'm micromanaging you. Um, at, on a campfire, I like a s'more, but I don't like graham crackers. So I just would prefer to oh. just roast a marshmallow and and just eat some chocolate and not have it be a sandwich. What do they call that? Like when you almost like eat something, it's like a deconstructed salad. You know what I'm saying? So you Here like a deep what? You like a de oh, no. you like a deconstructed uh, s'more. S'more, right? You don't like the actual graham cracker. I love the graham cracker. Graham cracker is one of my go-to like Cold Stone. Sorry, uh, I did add things. You know, you Sorry. put a little graham cracker in anything at Cold Stone. It's a little better. It gives a little crunch. It's not an offensive flavor. Yeah, hit me. Here's the party cake peep. Here, I'll split it with you. We'll split. We'll split one of each. That'll work out, I think. It's a lot of peeps being eaten. Then. A lot of peeps. You don't have to peeps? try all of them. No, because then we'll each have. You can leave a little. You, you, Six and a half peeps each. I was like, <laughs> 13 divided by two. Mmm. <laughs> you like that? Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm, that's going to be a favorite on the office. It tastes like frosting. It, oh, yeah. It is mm -hmm. like frosting flavored. Uh, yeah. I mean, okay, is this normal to anyone? I mean, I think it's. It's, it's it's fine. I think it's, it's it's anyone can eat anything they want in the office if it's fair game. But eating spoonfuls of frosting seems like a lot. And there's like a lot of joint like joint spoonfuls. Like there's like yeah. one. Like a, He's there's using like a this forum. Spoon. There's like several. It's not just one spoon. They they eat several spoons. Yeah, like ice once. cream, <laughs> and it's just sitting there. And they they I, I feel like they share the spoon. Yeah. You guys are starting office drama right now. No, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Never mind. <laughs> like it's literally. Yeah, no, I, I think it's <laughs> Allie's gonna come in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Allie's come. Yeah. Well, we just did it. To be fair, we just did a spam feed about it. Uh, yeah, I saw. So that. I think we opened it up to for discussion. We opened it up. Yeah, yeah. we made and, it public. And that was <laughs> spam feed. That was that was Allie and Jordan's brainchild. So I think that's yeah. fair. Yeah. All right. Well, so I, I actually don't even like peeps. I don't like peeps at all. <laughs> I'm sorry that we have they, now subjected <laughs> you to this torture <laughs> of having to work with peeps now for the, the better Carly's part. personal hell. Yeah. <laughs> Just this whole stream. Um, Ty, will you do me a favor? I'm going to read off some Peeps fun facts, and you can show this. Fact me. Yeah. All right, so you can taste. That's a cotton candy Peep. You can taste it, Ty. Let me tell you about Peeps, guys, while Tyler's tasting the Peep. And you can just interject with how you feel about it. Peeps were founded in 1953 by Sam Bourne in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Oh, look at that. Hey, look Bethlehem. Look at that. The company was named Just Bourne, which was a play off of his name, and that candy was made fresh daily. Yeah. At the time, peeps were handmade with a pastry tube and took about 27 hours to make one, but now they only take about six minutes. Peeps used to have wings, but they were gone after just two years to give the candy a sleeker, more modern look. Yeah, that doesn't taste like anything. The, what, the cotton candy yeah, one? Yeah, no, Let me try. Uh, no flavor. Yeah. I mean, cotton candy is just sugar. Yeah. So it tastes like sugar. I'm not sure we should be. We should be sacrificing your brain too to, for tonight. No, I'll be fine. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> they are the most, peeps, are the most popular non-chocolate Easter candy with more than 1.5 billion peeps being eaten every spring. That's a lot of peeps. And about 5.5 million peeps made every day. You want a new one? I'm gonna just move these onto the ground. I okay. don't wanna stack one of the Ah! Things. I almost thought the hot, hot tamales. Um, all at the Just Born Factory in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. 
Peeps are currently in the process of getting their own animated movie. The film supposedly centers around a group of peeps who set out on who set out on a cross-country journey to attend Peeps Fest, an annual celebration in Pennsylvania. Wow. Yellow chicks were the original peep and are still the most popular, with pink being the second most popular. Although known for Easter, Peeps has expanded into other holidays, including Halloween with ghosts, Frankensteins, pumpkins, and cats, Christmas with trees, snowmen, stockings, and gingerbread men, as well as Valentine's Day, which good. are shaped like hearts. I got the hot, one. The hot little, tamale. Little cinnamon. It's not okay. It's not bad. It. I was criticizing Peeps <laughs> earlier for not having much like there there you know right. not much like substance yeah the hot tamale does give it a little bit of something where right. it's like a, like the cinnamon makes it more of like an actual flavor yeah you know? I, it's got a good aftertaste actually yeah this, it does is this another one that's more hot tamales okay, I'm put it down there. all right do we do sour watermelon yeah here's sour watermelon i'm like getting a pretty serious sugar crash a sugar sugar high already do you want me to do it i can do it no no don't worry about it okay yeah what are you, doing? What are you pushing this over here for <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to try the sour watermelon ones. How is that? I oh, Someone oh, did say that in the oh chat. It was that the, the, the sour watermelon one was very overwhelming. <laughs> here, hit me, hit me, hit me. I, I did, yeah, I did, I did, I I did not reaction. expect that at all. It's kind of good. It tastes like a Jolly Ranger and a Sour Patch Kid in one. Big, oh, it's really sour. Big time. Uh, Warhead vibes. Is that what they're called? Warheads? Uh, sort of, yeah. Yeah, remember those ones? That they it's were like, pretty sour. It's pretty sour. It also kind of tastes like the watermelon, like, bubblicious gum. It does, but I, I'm telling you, Warhead. It's got a nu more, more of the artificial flavor. Which I, it's going to fall apart if you take it like that. Yeah, yeah. Because it, okay. <laughs> I tried to warn him. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I, I tried. That one, yeah. I tried my best. Yeah, my bad. Okay, so we did, how many have we done? We've done normal, party cake, tamale, cotton candy. It's five, right? And... And Classic. Classic? So that's five. Yeah, okay, five. Well, we're almost halfway there. This is not quite as difficult as the alternative meats taste test. The alternative meats taste <laughs> test. <laughs> also, by the way, if you're here right now, leave us a like. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Like this I'll, video. I will eat a peep to punish myself. Atone. Uh, to atone for my sins of asking for a like. Tropical burst. All right, this one's tropical burst. Tropical burst. If anyone's coming in now, our Franken peep is in the fridge, and now we're eating peeps to pass the time. All right, here's tropical burst. Kind of got like a, a, a like a almost like one of those tropical drinks, you know, daiquiri or passion fruit something kind of vibe to it. Very pineapple-y. Give me a lot of orangey taste. You think? Here, here. Yeah, you can have it. I'm not a fan of this one. I can't tell you. I can't really explain why though. I don't mind this at all, actually. You like you like this stuff, though. I no, that's a Tyler. Yeah. Right. Sort of a <sighs> fruity flavor, oh. almost like a popsicle kind oh. of taste. Like. You good? You feeling the sugar? Got the peep sweats. <laughs> Maybe actually. I got the peep sweats. I'm wearing this. The hat is actually generating a little bit of perspiration. Well, it's also. because it doesn't all of your body heat come out of your head. Do you think it is? In my, in my head or in life? Everyone's head. Okay, got it. Right. That's why you're supposed to wear a hat when it's cold because it keeps your heat in, your body heat. I okay. I why I, why are you making me feel like I'm crazy? I swear that's a thing. Has anyone else heard of it? I'm I'm, I'm fine with it. I'll You've let you never know. heard of this in your life. Heather Hatton says, "Peep with chainsaw." There you now go. that I'd like to see. Right. All right, here's fruit punch. Uh, it me. smells like Kool Aid. I hope it's refreshing like Kool Aid because that. I'm already I'm I'm, pe I'm peeping it up. Big time summer camp bug juice vibes. Mm. Summer camp bug juice. You know what I'm talking about? Mm. Sort of like a syrupy concoction. Okay. Contrasting to the fact that I didn't like the tropical burst peeps, I like the fruit punch peeps. They kind of give me like a concentrated Capri Sun vibes. There's a lot of concentration in this bad boy. Yeah. yeah. It would be better if it was watered down somehow. Right. Perhaps in a peep smoothie. <laughs> but I do like the taste of that. Let's not mention the peep smoothie. I don't want this to come be, you know, be a sensitive topic here. Because <laughs> I feel like Carly did a good job prototyping. Okay. Tried a lot of different stuff. I mean, no criticism to Carly right. or her kitchen. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. <laughs> I'm saying that if we wanted to, at some point, repurpose a Franken a Frank off for a Franken peep. Yeah. 
We, we could try different methods. I, yeah. might, I might try it, actually. Just Carly wants to make we a have, peep we smoothie. Have extra, we have extra peeps, so I might as well just blend them. We have <laughs> almost might a as perfect well. divide right now on people thinking the head thing is true or false. So I'm not going to stoke it, because I feel like there might be, it's like, it feels very humorous -y. You know, people have like hot humors and cool humors and stuff. Like, You're talking about like medieval medicine? Yeah, exactly. So right. I'm like, I don't know. But let's not, I don't know. My head's hot right now. My face is turning red, actually, looking up at it. So, all right, three more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the yeah, chocolates. And then the chocolates. All right, let's do it. All right, here is the chocolate pudding peeps. Chocolate pudding peeps. Here's the thing is that, um, so recently, ColourPop came out with a peep collab, but they didn't send it to us. No. They usually send us stuff, which is why I'm complaining about them not sending us the peep collab on. Because we want to talk about the peep the collab. The occasion right that we now. would. We thought it'd be fun. Yeah. <laughs> feature it prominently in yeah. our peep stream. <laughs> Wait, this one is also a bunny rabbit, which is cool. Someone says, this is a very confusing request. They said, mug idea, Tyler, as a peep with a spatula. I actually think there's a lot of layers to that. You as a peep right now, I'm imagining just as like a peep with like a hat on, and it's pretty cute. What do you mean, give me a bunny face? No, chocolate pudding this is good. No, I think that um, a peep you would have to be more peep than you to be cute. All right. Does that make sense? You give me the peep body, essentially, right? You make me the bunny peep. You give me the peep body. You give me some Tyler-esque features of the face. I think it works. I think you could just, at this point, just which is the purple bucket hat. Mmm. The chocolate pudding one's good. Did you say how you liked it? I, I, I really like the chocolate pudding one. It tastes like chocolate pudding. It tastes like a snack pack. Snack pack. Yeah. You know what it reminds me of? The, 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 the best snack ones. That Remember the pack seat snack pack. Like the um, the three layered <laughs> snack pack that would goes. It's like the dark oh. chocolate, and then it's like the mousse, and then it's the dark chocolate. Oh, yes. I, yeah. I love those. that thing. And then I also used to love the like black and white snack pack one. That was like literally half chocolate, half snack pack. So, what? Half pudding. I mean, half. Vanilla, half chocolate, whatever, you know, you guys are talking about. <laughs> All right, great. these Keurig uh, peeps are super heavily seasoned. Like there's <sighs> an incredible, like look at how much sugar there is in there. Dude, has anyone ever said, I don't know what I'm trying to show you guys. Uh, look at, there's so much sugar in there. Keurig coffee. It sounds. This is the second time you've done this. <laughs> no, I know, rant. but seriously, I want to <laughs> solidify it. <laughs> it's the same rant. Oh my God, there's literally sugar falling off this peep. Okay. Keurig coffee's also. That's not bad. That's actually pretty good. I don't know if it tastes exactly. Post like your rant about how why would anyone ever want this as a flavor? It does taste a little bit like the donut shop coffee. Mm. Yeah, it's good. That's the best one so far. Oh, the best one. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> it further supports my hypothesis that the peeps are too light to hold on to. So any complementary flavor that adds some depth. Right. to the peep flavor profile is a good peep. It's almost like the, the mocha. The mocha is like the yes. coffee. Yeah. There was actually a Any little bit of- coffee adds that kind of like, can I, is it bitter? I don't, I mean, coffee can be bitter, but I'm trying to figure like, what's that coffee taste? Let me uh, flesh this out real quick, guys. Cause I don't feel like I'm contributing enough to the conversation. Uh, <laughs> 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 all right, so real, real, real quick. Um, the reason <laughs> my beef that with Keurig partially comes from the fact that it is responsible for some of my worst food poisoning ever. Oh. Was that I had, the night before we posted our Melting Every Candle from the Bath and Body Works Together video on Christmas Eve in 2018. We had to pull a gnarly all-nighter, well, by the way, this thing was so on. Um, oh. We had to pull a gnarly all-nighter to get the video done. We were like not that far along in our B-roll and we just went like all inhibitions to the wind. You know, sun's out, gun's out, whatever you know moniker you want to use. And we tried, okay, here we go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How can I end this rant early? <laughs> this thing is very powder, like very sugary and powdery. Almost like, um. Oh! <laughs> almost like, um. Not airheads. But it's like, remember like those like things that you would have that you would have like the, the sugar spoon and you would scoop out the sugar? It, like a pixie dust kind of thing? Yes. It definitely has that oh, vibe. Pixie sticks! Pixie sticks, yes. yes. It also kind of tastes like. Pixie sticks. And, and stick with me here. This is going to be a very niche reference. It tastes like berry flavored Propel, which was that like Gatorade alternative. Oh. That you know what I'm talking this about? This is a judge. <laughs> this is a judge. That is exactly <laughs> what it tastes like is Propel. Right. And I haven't had this since like 2006. <laughs> and also it lends itself to the point that like Propel, which is it's supposed to be a water drink, not even like a, like, a, like a fruit drink. It's supposed to be a water drink. It's supposed to be like Gatorade. A little lighter on flavor, which is like what the Mallow does. It kind of like, 
you know what I'm saying? Your substance point also kind of is there. I mean, I could use something to dilute it. It's a very concentrated berry blast. But it's, it's so sugary, it's got, it's almost got like a throbbing. It, it, I'm getting a sensation here. I can feel my taste buds reacting. I think you have a cavity. Maybe. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, oh, here, oh my god, I have water on the table, I didn't even know. Yeah, give me some water. Um, <laughs> I'm getting a Franken like sugar in the back of my mouth right now. So real quick. Let I'm getting a Franken part. headache. Let me finish the story. So basically we had to pull it all night, it was a long night. And I had I ate a couple of Amy's Pad Thai's, frozen meals. Um, we were sitting there listening to like Christmas tunes. We got all the, the Chris, Christmas tunes playing because we were trying to get it done. In time in the morning, to so jump on the plane. And I had like nine <laughs> Keurig coffees. I had a Keurig coffee every 30 minutes to keep myself awake. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, just to kind of prop myself up through the day. <laughs> and long story short, we actually didn't hit our deadline that morning. We actually had to move our flight at the last second. And we ended up taking so a red eye in on Christmas. Story. And I had had so many Keurigs, my stomach was so irritated that I got food poisoning on the plane. I land and I missed Christmas morning. So that's it. That's the story. He was so great committed presents. to that story. He was going to let me cut his hair. Yeah, <laughs> my hair looks awful right now. Wow, yeah, I, I tried so many methods to stop him from telling that story, and yet... Con Did you not think it was a good story? <laughs> <laughs> I, just feel like I just feel like we've heard it before. <laughs> Every time I hear it, it's a different thing that made you sick, though. <laughs> like, I didn't know it was the It was also awesome McDonald's Burger, it was also awesome McDonald's Burger, okay? It was everything, okay? <laughs> oh my god, okay. Let's keep... Let's, let's so we're d almost... How, how long have we been in the fridge? About 20 minutes. Okay, that's pretty good. We have three peeps left to, left to taste. Pretty good vamping. It's because of that story, Tyler. Yeah, <laughs> vamping, yeah. Yeah, Tyler, I, I was wrong, actually. I should have let Tyler tell more of those stories. You need to pad the runtime here. All right, this is the uh, this is the donut shop. This is actually the mocha one, because this yeah. is the one that's covered in chocolate. So, Art with Frogs says, in all caps, new mug idea, multiple exclamation points, duck drinking boba. On top of more exclamation oh. points. I like that. Is he almost violet? I like that idea. Oh. Oh! oh. What? It, it's filled, right? It's amazing. A surprise. It's amazing. There is literally caramel inside of it. What is that like? Wow. It's almost got Twix vibes. Wow. That is a good snack. Peeps should make one of those things. Like a mocha. Like, I mean, like, they should <laughs> more often. I was like, a, they did. More often. <laughs> like, it's um, it's kind of yeah. like a, um, a... They call um, it a fast break. <laughs> Isn't that what Reese's has that random? Oh, right, right. <laughs> they call it a fast break? It kind of tastes like a demented Three Musketeers. Yeah, it does. Because it's got the mousse to it. Right? Yeah, mousse Three Musketeers is defined by, it's like, it's like, what is it? Is the it, chewiness inside. They call it toffee. No, they don't. Nougat. Like, nougat. <laughs> Isn't that like a whole, like, bit in, like, uh, Stranger Things? But, like, it is. the new Stranger Things trailer looks really good. Oh, yeah. oh we have our Furbies to talk about. We gotta get through, uh, uh, speed through here, actually. We're taking too long. Here's the strawberry chocolate dipped ones. What? <laughs> <laughs> I just approached Tyler's mouth to PPO's. <laughs> I feel like. I feel like. Remember that one clip that we have, Krusty, where we, you just put the snack in his face and he just starts going. Yeah, as it nears, <laughs> he goes like this. He goes. <laughs> <laughs> like, like that. anticipating it. I feel like that right now. <laughs> mm. This is pretty good, actually. Mm -hmm. The chocolate. The chocolate adds some body. Yeah. It adds some like almost crunch to it. Yeah. This is good. Can Alexis Wilcox says, "Can I make a boobies prototype? Furbies with boobies." Um, so, is you yes. asking our permission to make a Furbies with boobies? Well, you absolutely can. Let me tell you something for sure. We definitely have no rights to the Furbies IP, and we have so some rights, but certainly not exclusive rights to the boobs IP. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think Furbies with Boobs is a uh, pretty um, no. up for grabs. No, we reserve animation rights. For <laughs> <Okay. these. laughs> We're getting like very close. Okay. Okay. So we need to like powder the cutting board and the cutter. If you want, you can eat the last one if you want. All right, but this one's plain with chocolate. And then let's go to the boobs. It looks like this. Yeah. All right. What do I do? Just and then we'll do that. stuff in the background while we are. <laughs> you want me to flatten it out? Well, yeah, I would just like rub it in and then get rid of all of the excess. Like you can dump the excess in the bowl or something, but mm. just like basically coat it and then just. The plain chocolate one's less good than the other chocolate ones. All right. Okay. Besides this, what else do we need to do? Uh, the cutter co cover that in powder. Uh. You choose what size you want. I did the smaller one, but it's up to you. 
Just cover them both, Ty. Because we might have enough. We might have enough. I know it's not a great oh, like, people. Like, like in, the, more in like the crevasses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost like massage it. Do you want me to do it? Yeah, you massage. Okay. Uh, should we go to the, the foodies? Yeah. All right, Tyler, here, Carly sent me a list of credits. All right. So if you want to read, yes. these are the people who have sent the boobs. All right, show me what you got. Show me the boobs. Okay. Oh, also, um, before we start, if you are um, upset about furries with boobs, I'm very sorry. Please don't watch this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put in like a chapter or something, maybe, so you can skip it in the, yes. in the non- Yes, we got some good submissions here. Okay. In, in the non-live. First one up. This one is actually the most alarming one. <laughs> 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 this is Petite Floor Rose, or Jillian Markway, who also submitted last week the uh, the time lapse of making the blow the dolphin with blowtorch. Um, this is the this is the p the more um, family friendly one actually um, because we actually had I requested that we do more blurring on the, on the boobs. Yes, and Jillian. thank you for acquiescing to that because it's okay. it's there. Yeah. All right. So this next one is made by Modelexia. Model Alexia. Model Alexia, and this one I like. It's you know it's got a really good design around the face. I think it's kind of got like a, a Ziggy Stardust. Cover around the eyes and then also with boobs. Uh, let's go to the next one. Um, this one is. <laughs> I kind of love this one. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. And this one is made by Mitch Kenny. Um, I like the vibe. It's really, yeah, it's cool. I mean, it's kind of got like a. It's kind of stylish. Yeah. It's got the beehive hair. Stylized style. for sure. Stylized, yeah. It's giving me a vibe. And then I believe the last one here is the most graphically realistic one. Which is also it, it's not your eyes are not playing tricks on you. There is some animation that's happening on it too, and it this is comes from the concept that a Furby is supposed to be a blend of a bird mm. and a hamster. Can we go back to the last one? Yeah, that one is by Alexi Allen. Alexi Allen. Yes, that last that last Furby. Yes. So the so those were the Furbies with boobs. Yeah. And the vision here is that the boob is. Can we uh, cycle a through them one more time, Carly, just for everyone's pleasure? Yes. We'll start with Jillian's. Yes. So thank you to Jillian. Thank you, Jillian. Thank you to Mod Alexia. <laughs> thank you, Mod Alexia. Thank you to Mitch Kenny. Thank yeah. you, Mitch. And thank you to Alexi Allen for your wonderful submission. Submissions. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I actually, I like this one because it's like, it, it's sort of playing off that maybe a Furby is a hamster. You said that, right? It's, that like, it's like a real animal thing. The it's less of an anthropomorphic Furby. It's more of like a, if a Furby was like a little hamster. They all have their own charm to them. And with that, throw a like to this stream if you like this stream and its content. Look at the, go back to the stream. It's just like this. this Zero like people left. Ah, uh, oh, well, not yet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like we're doing okay for now. Right, we are, yeah. Uh, Anya Klum says, cursed concept, Furby as a Merkin. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be harder. I mean, that, it, that's not distinctly... Demonetizing. <laughs> Samal Samalama Ding Dong says the second one was the most tasteful. Um, that's Mod Alexia. So Mod Alexia, you got most tasteful award. Yes. Your Furby with your or your fur, fur boobs you. were the most tasteful. All right, cool. So that was our. Um, that was a segment. That was a segment. Yes. That was a segment. And magically appeared on the table now. Actually, I don't think it was magically at all. I think that maybe. Yep. All right. Yeah. So <laughs> here we are. We have our uh, Franken Peep. Block slab, if you will. How do I how do I play this? How do I get this out? Do I just 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 take it out? I would just pull it out, yeah, and put it on the. All right, and it's coming in. It is a little stuck, and here we go. Okay. That is our Franken Peep slab. Yes. Um, now there's a lot of this extra sugar that I feel like we can once maybe once we have it yes. cut out we can dust off. Yeah. Um, but as you can see, it's almost like a fleshy color, which is interesting. Do you want me to go? Yeah. All right. You can right. make one big one if you want, or just make a, a small one. The bubble is concerning me right now. Okay, <laughs> right, you're gonna go, go around down. the bu yeah. bubble. Yes. Can I don't know what the top down looks like. Looks yeah, good. Carly told me I really have to get some elbow grease and like it. shake it around. Okay. Once you, once you press down to make Sorry. sure that it's out. Sorry. All right, ready and commence. Ready and. Ooh, that was a crunch. That was a crunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. I see, Carly. I see. I see. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm no. Peel back. Wait. Ready? Okay, go. Yeah. Oh. 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 Ready? And wow, uh, beautiful. And then pop it. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Oh my God. Thank God. <laughs> beautiful. A Franken peep. 
Sorry. I keep coming back up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what's interesting about this is, as you can tell, as we saw, there's like caramel. Oh. There's like caramel in here, right? Because it's, um, and it's an interesting texture as well. You can see it's kind of like bendy because there's caramel and chocolate in there, not just marshmallow. That looks awesome. That's a little patriotic peep right there. Christmas mm. peep? <laughs> not, as good, not quite as good as a patriotic wiener, but no. we're going to provide no context for that. Maybe yeah. at someday you guys will understand what we're so talking someday about. Someday there might be infinite context about the patriotic wiener. Uh. All right. <laughs> so that is our Franken peep. Is there a marker? Yeah, in there. So Carly got us like a culinary, let me put it, oh, sorry, it's oh. fine. It's okay. <laughs> I was just gonna like refocus it a little bit. Um, Carly, oh, that's worse. There's a train, by the way, for the bingo cards. Train for bingo. Carly got us like a culinary marker, mm. an edible. <laughs> I was agreeing. <laughs> <laughs> an edible color marker. So we can add, um, some some features to our peep. I was just thinking how funny it would be if uh, if it wasn't edible and Carla's just like, well, whatever, I'll just tell him it's edible. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a Sharpie. <laughs> whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's going to know? All right, ready? And then coming in here. Okay. All right, and then. What you need for a bunny is two eyes and one nose, and that's it. There's, that's the only thing that you need. Oh, that's really, f okay. What? <laughs> that's the ears, baby. Lower? I think the oh, this is the face. This is the face. Right, show, show me the show me the template. This is the template. Um, wait, I was way off. Yeah. <laughs> can you even see it on there? Yeah, oh, you can see it. You yeah. can see it. You can see it. <laughs> <laughs> that was the cutest Carly laugh of all time. <laughs> there it is. Okay. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm going to show it to Nez, too, because this the camera up here is a little bit less well lit. And Nez's camera is more, oh, yeah. It looks very interesting. It almost <laughs> looks pixelated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Here's the back of it. The back looks pretty cool too. It kind of looks like looks one of those HD. things from um, like Minecraft or something. Right? No? Okay. <laughs> Should we try this bad boy? Yeah. Carly, how many bites have you taken of a Frank and Peep? Exactly zero. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so this is a pilot taste. All right, want to do it? Yes. Do you want to do it first? Do I, yeah. I go, I'll go first. Here, I'll what feed part you. are you gonna eat? Have we we've 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 beauty shotted him, right? Everyone's seen the peep. <laughs> All right. I also just really quick. Oh my god. Oh yeah. I kind of want to show the the color of the slab. Would people mind if I like Peel? show the slab a little bit? Oh my god. It's like oh my slime. god, it looks like gum. Slime content. <laughs> that actually looks interesting. It does. Okay. Anyway, so it's kind of like this like fleshy color. That's it. That's all I had yeah. to say. I literally, that's <laughs> it. Okay. Ready? Yeah. A lot, a lot of the coffee flavor. Yes. A lot of coffee, a lot of chocolate. A little pudding chocolate action. I taste coffee, chocolate, and like a dash of sour watermelon. A dash. Yes, yep. a little bit of the tropical flavors in there. Yeah. We're gonna eat the whole thing, wow. It is not bad. It is not bad. The worst part is the texture. Because it's very chewy. Yeah. I would say the first two bites, it's like a piece of chewing gum. Mm. Like legitimately. And that must be the caramel or something. I've been using my tongue to try to part the seed. I'm trying to use my tongue to get all the sugar out of the way so I can get to the, the essence. Part of it is also that it's covered in sugar. So it's like melted sugar with the marshmallows. Like it, that's a weird texture. <laughs> sugar on sugar. Yeah, see, look at that dangly bit. It like literally, it, it's <laughs> weirdly stretchy. And that's because the Frank and Peep had variations of Peep that had different <laughs> um, different structural materials. What a horrifying shot. <laughs> <laughs> now I have to have it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I love it. The taste really isn't that bad. I love it. The texture is bad. But it. here's the thing, in this stream today, other methods have been proposed. Now, it is currently the Tuesday before Easter, right? It is, right? Yes, right now. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> the Tuesday before Easter. So, I think that our, our, our Peeps chapter for this year is probably closed. A lot of coffee. 
But Carly has an interest in making a peep smoothie on for shits and giggles. <laughs> um, and maybe next year we'll come back with a Frank Off peep edition. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe. Mm -hmm. Or some other cursed peeps content. Maybe peeps with breasts. That's what we'll do. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's the right, the right thing to do. Um, okay. Uh, I don't know, is there anything else to say? <laughs> We've learned a lot here today. 13 peeps became one. The method was good. We ended up with a thing. Yeah. The consistency was weird. Yeah. The taste was not so bad. It, well, the curing cup's taste is really not that bad. I have a question, is it sticky? Laura Flanken says, is it sticky? It's really coated, actually. Now, yes, so it is sticky because Carly instruct us to do all of these like powdered sugar and like crust sugar, sprinkle, these like sprinkle layers because otherwise it would have completely stuck to our silicone mold. So it is sticky. Like if I touch this, yeah, like, okay, here. Like it kind of sticks to me. Like that's why it's like, it, it looks like gum, right? Yeah. It looks awful. <laughs> it looks awful. I wanna try to get another one out before it's dead. Oh, sorry, I think I like push it over. But the actual flavor isn't so bad. I love the flavor. It kind of tastes like something that could be inside of a chocolate bar. I think it shows, oh yeah, it shows That's that another possible Frank and Peep. We make this and then we put it, we coat it in chocolate. I agree. That could be a thing, because then you have some structural integrity. I like it. These are some good ideas, Sophia. Okay guys, we're on a timer here, because my brain is starting to melt. So, we've learned a lot here today. A Frank and Peep can exist. Coffee is a dominant peep flavor. Watermelon, don't sleep on it. Uh, secondarily, um, that one chocolate peep is really good. The one that's dipped, <laughs> it's got the caramel in it. It's interesting. Um, we could use smoothie stuff at some point. And like the, I am becoming that like the last two brain cells meme as we talk. Um, but we learned a lot. If you want to smash that like button, you can smash that like button. If you want to hit, if you want to see more streams like this, you can smash the subscribe button. Yes. Really quick, some D'Alessandro says, where can we send our own art for you guys to see? Yay. Right now, I think the best place is that um, our merch designer, Jordan, checks our Instagram DMs for specifically these things. <laughs> so <laughs> if you DM us on Instagram, Jordan will probably see it. Yeah, we are looking at the DMs. Yeah. Yes. You, you look at those, yeah. But and here are the Instagrams. <laughs> here are the Instagrams. There you go, right? Oh, Carly's got, oh, there you go. That's the segue <laughs> right there. Yeah. <laughs> and we also do short form stuff. On TikTok? Maybe there will be a- Shorts, on YouTube, YouTube shorts. There. On YouTube shorts YouTube and on TikTok. Short and on TikTok. Although TikTok, they just removed the sound of like our biggest performing TikTok ever and I'm like a little bit angry. Yeah. But it was still, I mean, it's fine. <laughs> TikTok giveth. And TikTok take, 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 tick, TikTok it away. What? TikTok take cake it away. TikTok take it away. And with that, <laughs> 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 and with that, we will see you guys on next, next week. Next week.